Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about uh, two fracture, vertical uh, two fracture. Today we're looking at tube number 12. Patient chip complaint was, um, it's been about a week. Uh, I still have pain when, especially when I chew. <clears throat> now, when initially I take an x-ray, I look at the uh, tube uh, on uh, this number 12 area I uh, the x-ray doesn't reveal me any type of uh, condition of infection necrotic tube uh, yeah, the, the tube doesn't have any cavity so I can't see anything that consider root fracture or tooth fracture um, I took a closer view again and uh, you, now you can see that there's very tiny little crack like that now the way to de <clears throat> determine that uh, this tube is hopeless or savable is um, first you uh, do some uh, perio probe around. In uh, <clears throat> this case, the buckle plate, uh, the buckle side, uh, there's some deep pocket, uh, more than five millimeter pocket, uh, but the lingual side seems to be very normal, and it's approximately the, it's pretty normal. So that, that is uh, one suspicious uh, side. The other uh, um, test that I did was I tapped the tube on the buckle, uh, cuss, uh, patient feel more pain than lingual cuss. And that is something that you can tell that indicated one cuss is fractured, uh, which is the buckle cuss, and the lingual cuss is not fractured. So you can see that I hold the uh, forcep and as soon as I uh, touch the tube the, um, with the forcep, the buckle cuss come right out, right away. And that's way <clears throat> the determination was uh, correct uh, for extraction. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is when you um, take out the tube, uh, especially toward the front or the back side, um, if you plan to um, do implant, you, uh, your goal is uh, when you take out this tube, uh, try to take out them in piece, in one piece. So that's way uh, you can uh, measure how deep is the root so you can determine what implant size you can place in next time. So in this case, um, I use the Perio Pro and uh, it looked like the patient had at least nine millimeter uh, of the root. <clears throat> that means that nine millimeter implant I can put in, or at least I can do minimum of seven millimeter implant uh, for next time. But um, to uh, expedite the process of healing, uh, one of the material that I love to use uh, is the called the oxygen plug. Uh, before I do that, I really clean out all the granulation tissue if there is infection. In this case, there wasn't any in much infection, just some inflammation at the buckle place. And um, pretty much I scrape it and I create uh, uh, some bleeding. And then him was <coughs> the uh, an local anesthesia uh, was numb really well. That's why there's not a lot of blood. But uh, soon that <coughs> we stopped the... Uh, the anesthesia wear out, you're gonna see a lot of blood. So this is the oxygen plug. Uh, it worked wonderfully. You cut them in half, you put one on a buckle uh, root and one on a lingual root, and you compress them all the way down. Within a few uh, seconds, you can see the blood stop completely, and you're ready to suture the uh, tube. Uh, in case if you have <clears throat> the uh, stay place to put on, you don't have to shoot you a lot. But if you don't have a sh um, the stay place or any kind of replacement, like temporary bridge, then you should try to shoot you really well. Uh, you see in a minute that I'll be shooting during the uh, uh, sockets um, with several um, uh, horizontal uh, cross suture um, technique and that makes sure that the um, material is well um, stay in the uh, socket to um, preserve as much at bone as possible. Um, 
because I do implants every time, many, many implants before. Uh, so, you know, when I see that the tube have about more than nine millimeter par, uh, uh, root, I'm, I'm pretty uh, happy. But typically, uh, I want to go back and place the implant within about three, four months, if possible. I don't want to wait too long. The bone resorption will occur uh, when you have an empty space uh, there. So, um, as you can see, that uh, the suture is done. And um, basically, the um, patient is ready to go home. And um, that's it, guys. Here's the picture of the um, fracture tooth. It's split right in the middle and it's go toward the buckle place. Uh, quick video with the uh, uh, bear that I we saw uh, on the way in the part of uh, Yosemite um, National Park in California. Enjoy uh, the rest of the day. Thanks for watching you guys. Have a good one.